Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Uh, you can see that I'm outside the ruins of Alf. Um, that's because I was just about to do some training here uh, for our Zubat. Uh, and um, before continuing, I wanted to show you this place. So yeah, it's a little puzzle here uh, to get into the ruins of Alf. I think it's a Kabuto, um, as far as I can remember. It's a very easy, you know, one of those sliding puzzle things. Just start with the corners. And then everything's pretty self-evident as to where everything goes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fairly easy puzzle really. It's not it's not really puzzling as such. The eyes gave me a little bit of trouble the first time I played this game because I didn't couldn't remember which way the eyes went round. But if you know your Pokémon and how they're supposed to look, then you can pretty much tell what this is going to be already. It's a Kabuto. Oh. Huh. <laughs> right, that didn't work then. Hold on. There we go. That time I got it. I'm pretty sure I did the exact same thing twice though, so I'm not sure why it didn't work the first time. But yeah, that's the only reason why I wanted to show you it, is because um, I'm about to go and do some training here for Zubat, for Meatloaf. Uh, we went away and we put the rest of our Pokémon in the, in the PC, in the storage system there. Um, but yeah, here's a known. Oh, it wiggles its top bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, the reason why I'm basically training up here, I forgot to heal, dear me, is because Meatloaf should be super effective. Oh no, come on. First unknown we face, and it's super effective against Meatloaf. Great. Uh, anyway, yeah, Leech Life is super effective against unknowns. Now that we've done that puzzle, we can continue on. That's a bit of a bad news that that uh, Meatloaf's already fainted once. But um, I'm going to go away, do some training for him, and I'll be back when I've trained him up. So see you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back, and after a little bit of training there at the Ruins of Alf, uh, our Meatloaf is up to a respectable level 7. And it learnt Supersonic, which is a sound wave that confuses our enemies, which is really, really cool. Doesn't show the accuracy of it, but it's not that accurate. Um, and if we have a look at our moves for Razor Leaf, yep, 55 power, and it has a high critical hit ratio. <laughs> awesome. So, we're going to go and explore this town a bit. Uh, over here's the gym, and here's a weird guy. Hello, are you a trainer? Hello, you? Oh, very neat indeed. Nice. Hello, are you a trainer? Metal when you did? No? Or oh, is that so? I shall follow me. Uh, so if you didn't win the trainer, he's going to bring us to the school over here, and this is a little school. Go ahead and turn the volume up on this thing, because I don't think it's that loud. Is that better for you guys? There you go. Uh, you can learn all about Pokemon and status effects and things in this school, so it's pretty cool. Um, 
there's the gym. Down there's a route to, to the Ruins of Elf, where I've already gone. Uh, and up here's another route, uh, which is blocked off because of a tree. Uh, we can only go a certain distance away, because there's this uh, tree blocking the way. So. Huh. That's strange. Um. Has there always been grass here? I don't remember there being grass here in silver. Let's go into the tree with a strange arm punch. Huh. I don't remember there being grass here before when I was playing Silver Version. There's a Lediba. Really cool. I haven't caught one of those. But uh, yeah, I've basically been training up Meatloaf. Uh, so. a little bit. It learnt Supersonic, which is really, really useful. Because uh, it can cause them not only to be confused, but to then hurt themselves in their confusion. Uh, so a leech, so a leech life supersonic combination is really cool. Until of course they become confused no more, which can happen. Uh, so I've been also, as you can notice, dandelions now up to level ten because I've been swapping out quite a lot still, even though. The main purpose of that was to train up Meatloaf. I have needed to swap them out quite a bit between the two because Meatloaf's still kind of weak. And Dandelion's been gaining experience quite a lot. So Ladybugs are up here, that's quite cool. Uh, I want to see if there's anything else that we haven't seen yet up here. So far it doesn't look like it. It's a Pidgey. Which is cool, I guess. See, I'm trying to get Meatloaf up to a level where he's learning bites. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm trying to get him up to a level where he learns bite, because at least then he's, you know, gonna do quite well. I noticed that, that Supersonic doesn't really hit that often. But when you come across a Zubat in the wild, its Supersonic will hit you pretty much the first time it tries. And it confuses you for ages. But when you have a Zubat and you use Supersonic, it doesn't work. It hardly ever works. And it doesn't confuse the uh, enemy Pokémon for that long. I'm not sure what sort of game logic that is, um, but it seems that Z wild Zubats are a lot more annoying than trained Zubats. So I'm going to continue training in this patch of grass. I'll uh, be back when something uh, when I've when I've trained up to level ten. So I'll see you in a bit. get Growlithe's here. A level 5 Growlithe. Yeah, I'm gonna catch that. Oh, do I still have Pokeballs though? I forgot if I've got Pokeballs. I've got two. 
let's weaken it down a bit. Oh, sweet. No! Right. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go buy some more Pokeballs, and I'm coming back because I am going to get a Growlithe, now that I know that you can get one there. Seems to be very rare, though. But let's go buy some Pokeballs. And some potions. And I'll save, I'll uh, heal up my Pokemon quickly, and then I'll meet you back at that route when I've found another Growlithe, because we're about to go through Sprout Tower. I would really love a fire type on our team. Because as you know, with Pokemon Crystal and, and this generation, fire types are very, very useful. So the fact that we can catch a Growlithe right here, right now, that will be super useful for us. So I can't pass that up. I'm going to catch that Growlithe no matter what. So I'll see you back in a sec. Here we go. Here's another one. Oh, this one's a female Growlithe. Oh, very nice. So let's confuse it. Ugh. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, here's the third Growlithe, and it's another female. So, let's confuse it. Good, it's confused. Hurt yourself. Oh, for... Crying out loud. Okay, here's Growlithe. It's a male Growlithe. Supersonic. Oh, for... Come on! Right, Growlithe. Male. Meatloaf, confuse him. Hopefully it will hurt itself in its confusion straight away. Right, no time to waste. Start throwing Pokeballs at it. Go, Pokeball. It's confused and it's hurt slightly. Oh, come on! We can't, we can't chance it. We really need to catch this guy. Come on, I'll be very nice to you, Growlithe. We'll, we'll give you, t we'll take you for walks. We'll, we'll do loads of things together. We'll, uh, we'll help each other out like good friends always do. And, and we'll, we'll take you for walks by the beach. We'll give you loads of bell sprouts to fight. We'll be, you'll be our best team. And yes, yes, oh, yes, Growlithe. Was caught! Ha 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 Growlithe! The puppy Pokemon. It controls a big territory. If it detects an unknown smell, it roars loudly to force out the intruder. Yeah, we've um we discovered that firsthand. And I'm going to call it because it's spent so long. at us. We're gonna call very, very apt name for this guy. He's gonna be called Rory. <laughs> Rory the Growlithe. 
Whew. Wow. Or should I call him Hot Dog? Rory or Hot Dog? Hot Dog would go more with the theme of my team. Okay, yeah. Hot Dog's better. Yeah, let's call him Hot Dog. Even though Rory... It's because Rory is more, you know, like a... a Doctor Who reference... than anything. Even though, you know, he does roar a lot. I think... Hot Dog's more... More him. Hot dog! Yeah, welcome to the team. Whew. I'm gonna go save the game here now. That took forever. But we finally did it. And we got a level 5 Growlithe on our team. So our team's actually starting to pick up quite a bit. Here's Hot Dog, our Growlithe, the fire type. It only knows bite and roar right now. Um, but it knows bite, which is something. I wonder when it learns ember, or if it learns ember. It probably will learn ember, I mean it is a fire type. Hopefully it learns ember. But Bite's really cool. Bite's a really good ability. A really good move to have. So I'm very glad that it's got Bite. So I've saved the game. I'm just going to go heal up our Pokemon here. And, uh... Now that we've got three, I think we might as well take on Sprout Tower. Um, I've been recording now for... ages, though. Um... I'm just going to check how long I've been recording for, see if I am actually able to fit Sprout Tower into another pass, or whether I might go away and train up these guys some more. Dunno, maybe, we'll see. I'll go save the game here again. I'll quickly check how long I've been recording for, and uh, if not, I'll, I'll go train up my Pokémon, and if uh, so, I'll see you at Sprout Tower after that, in the next part, or in this part, if I've still got some time. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next time. Or later, depending on how much uh, footage I've done. <laughs> see ya.